Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today's going to be a pretty simple video, and if you're a beginner, or excuse me, an advanced uh, user of this software, you probably already know all these tricks, but this is designed more for a beginner tutorial, but it's how to erase. So, it's a pretty basic function, erasing objects in AutoCAD, but there are a couple tips and tricks, so I'm just going to kind of go over how I erase, uh, other ways to erase, and the tips and tricks you can use to erase faster and quicker. Alright, so there are multiple different ways to erase objects in AutoCAD, and the fastest and easiest ways are going to kind of depend on um, what you're trying to erase, but for the first example, let's just say we have all these objects here, and we just want them gone. So we are going to go up to the Erase button, and this is the beginner way, there's obviously different ways to do it. We're going to go up here, we, as you can see, it brings down this little, um, I guess, square pointer. And we're going to left-hand click and drag across this whole area to the right. We're going to click the mouse again once we're done dragging. Left-hand click. And then press Enter. And as you can see, everything's erased. So we're going to Control-Z that because we actually didn't want all those erased. And we decide again we want them all erased. We can actually Control-A, select them all, and then press the Delete button. That's another way to erase, but we're going to control Z that again to bring it back. Um, if you want to erase individually, we can go back up to the pointer and just do individual shapes and lines here. Okay, you just click on them, and once you're done, you can either click enter, and there you go. Or if you don't feel like going up to that erase button, you can just click on the shape and press delete. It's really that easy. There are multiple different ways to erase, and to be honest with you, I think the fastest one is just uh, selecting it with your crosshair and pressing the delete button. Okay, so another way too, if you you know you like to use the right hand uh, click of the mouse, is you can go here. I can left hand click the object, then I can right hand click and press erase as well. So the erase function really shows up in a ton of different ways, and it kind of you know based on preference you know, you're going to use it how you feel comfortable and how you want to use it. But again, multiple different ways, and those are, in my opinion, the quickest ways to erase objects. Again, we have the delete function or the delete key on your keyboard, you have the erase button, and you have the right hand click on the mouse. All right, so a couple other things you can do too that are a little bit quote unquote fancier with the erase function is you can actually just type letters to use the erase function. So right here, when we're in our drawing, we're going to type the letter E, and automatically the Erase button is the first thing that comes up. So once that comes up, we just press the Enter button, and all of a sudden we're in the Erase mode, right? So we can just click and erase things um, that you want to erase, right? The other option, too, is when you're back in it, we press E again, click Enter. We can actually press the L button right here, and it selects the last thing I drew. So say you're in a big drawing, and you forgot where the last thing you drew was, but you want it gone, or you can't find it really quick. And you know you just want it gone. You press the L button, and then you click Enter, and it's going to erase that last drawn object. So again, a couple other fancier things that you can do in the command bar, type letters in, depending on the speed that you're using AutoCAD and how comfortable you feel uh, using the keyboard within AutoCAD itself. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video. Um, thank you, everyone, for watching. I do appreciate it. If you like the video, leave a like down below. If you want to see something else, leave a comment in the comment section. I make a couple videos a week, to just really of content trying to help beginners and even a little bit of the intermediate level uh, progress through AutoCAD. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And again, thank you for watching and I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.